Hey, welcome. My name is Derek Bell. I am presenting to you Dental Lion. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy to be um, presenting the show to the world. This show really means a lot to me. Um, it went through a lot of transitions. And um, I'm just going to get straight to it. I love painting when I'm in a happy mood. It was so, so important. So why Dandelion? Dandelion is the mispronunciation of Dandelion. It's a French term that means the tooth of a lion. I was kind of unsure about this, about the title, the Dandelion. And you're never going to believe this. I was at work one day and I was walking um, between buildings. <laughs> and you're not going to believe what blew in front of my face. It was a one small dandelion. It just flew in front of my face. In August, <laughs> in August, out of all my, and I knew right then that that was my confirmation from God that. I was onto something, and I was, and I picked the right title. Yeah. When I approach a show, uh, I'm always looking at the why of things, and how can I make the situation come to life in my work. So in the U.S., the dandelion is the hated flower. Uh, it is considered a weed. This is a term for an unwanted flower, something that needs to be removed. So in picking the title, Dandelion, it really is a metaphor to illustrate how like the dandelion, the um, minorities in this country are often unwanted. Take a look at some of the things that are happening in, in our society today. Um, we're dealing with police brutality still. Uh, people are getting killed for no reason, specifically black people, um, trans black people. Um, and it, it seems like there hasn't been no, um, no resolution. I'm working on now the dandelion flower, the dandelion flower. This is really the the subject or the focal point of the of this particular show. I'm really loving this piece because, for one, I wanted to do the black on black with the black turtleneck, given um, reference to like the Black Panthers. That was a group that just was like, enough is enough. Our voice is going to be heard, and you're not going to do this to our people. The eyes and the face are so, so important um, that they weren't seen. Reason being is because the lack of knowledge that people have about their own beauty is um, heartbreaking. You have a lot of people in this society that are just walking around feeling unworthy. They feel not beautiful. They feel like they're too dark, they're too light, um, they're too short, too, too tall, too big, too skinny, gay, um, disabled. And what I wanted to do was highlight everybody's individuality in each painting by creating beautiful flowers and putting the flowers at the subject matter at the faces. You can't see yourself, but if you look at these flowers, maybe you can see that you do possess that beauty inside of you. Hmm. I remember times, you know, um, people have told me, uh, made fun of me because of my disability, and I 
really start to believe like I was actually not part of the um, the in crowd. Um, I really appreciate my mom in this process because I do have a hearing loss, I wear a hearing aids. And I remember her telling me that one of the speech therapists in my elementary school told her that Derek won't be able to go to college or get into a college because of he has a speech impediment and he can't comprehend um, very well. And my mom never told me that. And the reason why she, she told me this, the reason why she didn't tell me is because she didn't want me to be discouraged. And she was like, Derek, I didn't care what they said. I believe in you. I don't look at you as having a disability. And um, you're gonna be whatever you wanna be. And I, um, I really appreciate that coming from my mom. Um, because she taught me how to stand up on my own two feet and to fight for what is right. She, um, and just that strength coming from her and seeing her fight her own battles just made me want to be even more empowered in my own um, disability in life. Um, yeah, so thank you, Mom. <laughs> um, you know, I don't think she knows that. The overall message in the show is to celebrate human individuality. You know, like, let's just strip away everybody's um, label and treat everybody as an individual because we all come from different, we all have different personalities and we have, we all have our own identity and that's what makes us beautifully human. So I think that it's very important that, you know, when you approach the show, to approach it, look at the image and look at it individually. It's, a, it's collective, but look at an individual. As an individual person, is that you? And just celebrate everybody's human, um, humanity. You know, I am beautiful, you know, and I am worthy. 